Hello! Today we are going to learn more about strain gauges. Strain gauges are resistive displacement sensors that are sensitive for very small displacements. The resistance of the wire of a strain gauge depends on its geometry. This geometry changes as it experiences strain and thus the resistance changes. Resistance depends on resistivity, length, and area as noted by the equation R equals rho times length divided by area. Resistivity, rho, is a property of the material. Length and area are geometries. Very small changes in length change the resistivity and area, which ultimately change the resistance. The equation from before can be rewritten in terms of these small changes by change in resistance equals rho divided by area times change in length minus rho times length divided by area squared times change in area plus length divided by area times change in rho. This can be rewritten by dividing everything by r to get change in resistance divided by resistance is equal to change in length divided by length minus change in area divided by area plus change in resistivity divided by resistivity. To relate the change in diameter and thus area to the change in length, Poisson's ratio can be used according to the equation change in diameter divided by diameter is equal to Poisson's ratio times change in length divided by length. Note that the area is pi d squared divided by 4. The nominal area is therefore negative 2 mu times the change in length over length. The nominal resistance can be manipulated using the relationship between Poisson's ratio and the area. Plugging in dA divided by A, we find that the nominal resistance depends on the dimensional effect and the photoresistive effect. The bottom line here is that the change in resistance is proportional to the original resistance and strain. There is a dimensional component as the wire lengthens and narrows during pulling, where the resistance is proportional to the ratio of length and cross-section area. There is a piezo-resistive component because resistivity itself changes when a material is strained, which can be either a positive or negative effect. By dividing the relative change in length, the equation can be arranged. The gauge factor is the ratio of small relative changes in resistance and length. This factor depends on the material. For semiconductors, the gauge factor is temperature sensitive and therefore must be compensated for in order to get an accurate signal. Something to note is that there are several types of displacement that can be measured. In this video, we are focusing on strain, which is length displacement. Strain is equal to change in length divided by length. Stress is another measurement of displacement. It is equal to force divided by area. From these two displacements, a material property known as Young's modulus can be determined. Young's modulus is equal to stress divided by strain. Important to note also is that for strain gauges, the relative resistance is equal to the gauge factor times strain. So then, by rearranging equations, we can find that the relative resistance is equal to the gauge factor divided by Young's modulus multiplied by stress. Physical strain gauges come in two forms, bonded or unbonded. Unbonded strain gauges are not directly bonded onto a structure surface. These strain gauges are typically used for pressure, force, or acceleration measurements. An example is a fluid pressure sensor. As fluid comes into contact with the membrane, it displaces the membrane and causes the strain gauge wire to elongate, changing the resistance. A bonded strain gauge, the wire is bonded to a diaphragm. As the diaphragm is displaced, the wire directly senses the displacement and measures the strain. The wire can be looped such that it has a number of n turns. Increasing the number creates n times greater resistance and n times greater sensitivity of change in resistance to strain. Hopefully you have a better understanding of strain gauges after this video. Look for some more videos in the future for application.